In this video, we're going to be covering Gemini in Google BigQuery, which helps you create and enhance SQL queries with the power of AI with Gemini. To get started, let's head over to BigQuery. In BigQuery, there's a couple of areas to access Gemini. This is the Gemini main button in Google Cloud. This will come into play later on. There's a Gemini options as well, which is this pencil over here. And you've got your Gemini options in there. There's Gemini in SQL and Gemini in Python. We'll be looking at SQL today and we've got auto generation. We've got SQL generation tool and we've got explanation and we'll be going through the three of those. So first thing I want to show you is insights. So I've got a sales table here and I can generate insights with Gemini automatically. So you press generate insights. This takes a little while to generate, but it's generated insights for that table. So it's looked at the table, it's understood the data, and it's given me some canned queries that I can start generating now. So these are some really good queries based on the data I've given it, which I didn't really explain, but it's been able to understand the data and give me some good queries. So this is the lowest and highest average weekly sales. I can copy that to query and I can run this and there's my SQL generated without me having to ask it. Now this isn't in the right order. I'd like to see the lowest sales sorted. So what I can do is I can highlight that query, press this star button over here and transform this query in order to get that out. So I can just say order by lowest sales in natural language and this will return back the SQL in order to generate this table or ordered by lowest sales. I can insert that back in, can run it. And now I've got my query ordered by the lowest sales. Another thing I can do is query explanation. So I'm pulling in another query in here and I'm looking at this. This query is just giving us a highest and lowest weekly sales for a given fuel price range. I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to explain this query. And in the main Gemini Google Cloud window, this will explain the query with the data source, the filtering, the aggregation, and then give you a really good overall intent at the end. So from starting from scratch, I've got another table here where we're going to be looking at travel frequencies, department and attrition for employees. So I've got an empty screen here. I can generate SQL with Gemini and I can ask in natural language to categorize this data set by travel frequency. So what it's done is it's taken out the business travel frequency and it's given me an account of employees. I can insert that in and run it. And now I have my travel frequency by the number of employees. I want to take this a step further. I want to add more so I can say add a attrition and department generate that that's changed the query it showed me what's been added what's been subtracted and then I can insert this back into the query window I can run it again and now I have my travel frequency attrition department and number of employees but I want this pivoted because I want to see side by side per business travel categorization and department how many employees have left us so I'm going to ask it to pivot it this has resulted in a much more complicated query I'm going to run this and I have exactly what I'm looking for so I've got my business travel department and attrition true and false I can ask to explain this query and this goes into quite a detailed explanation in everything that's happening but the best thing about this is at the end it just says in essence the query aims to understand how attrition rates vary across different travel frequencies and departments, which is a very straightforward explanation of overall intent. This is one of the best data analysis tools I've seen using generative AI, and I'm very excited about where this will go in the future. Hope you found this useful. Follow for more.